All right, testing, recording, recording. All right, oh, what's up guys? Um, let me show off my mess here. My shop is an absolute disaster. My kid's trying to hide from it. There she goes, say hi. <laughs> Anyways, a uh, lot has happened. So last video ended with the head falling off the block, landing in a bucket of oil and just dousing me and nasty gross stuff. Um, I know that everybody's wondering what happened to the shorts. Uh, luckily, after soaking them in laundry detergent and bleach, uh, they sort of came clean. So um, you guys can stop worrying about that. Okay, so here's the engine block. We got it back from the machine shop. Uh, they magnafluxed it, did all that. No, no cracks whatsoever. A lot of these will crack in the <clears throat> webbing down here. Uh, anyways, everything came back perfectly good on this. The heads, however, are right over here. You can see right there, you can see that crack without even uh, having to really zoom in much. Let me see, my camera won't let me get that close. Well, let's see here. Yeah, so you can see that crack there. So I had, I had the 599 block, which is the one we're rebuilding. I had um, a C1500 HD that I bought that had a blown up motor that I was debating on whether or not to fix it or not. I ended up parting it out. Besides the point, it had a broken um, crank and a broken block. Only had 157,000 miles on it. So I figured, hey, it's gotta have good heads. Pulled the heads off of it, they're cracked. A buddy of mine had an engine that had been a running engine, but he stole a bunch of parts off of. We pulled the heads off of it and they were cracked. Um, so long story short, I have six sets of heads, or I guess three sets, six heads total. All of them are cracked between the, um, the valves. Um, the internet's divided. Half the people are saying run it, they're fine. The other half is saying don't. Um, I took the advice of the owner of the machine shop. He said that they're not worth fixing. Uh, the amount of money you're gonna spend on fixing a crack, they'll crack some more. Uh, he recommended I buy a new head. So that is what I did. I bought some budget heads because uh, I'm already way over budget on this build. So these are just engine tech heads off of uh, rockauto.com. I'll have to put the valves and everything, move everything over from the good valves and springs off of one of these heads onto this one, lap the valves and um, do all that. So I know when you get on Facebook or these forums, everybody's like, oh, put the, uh, put the optimizer heads on it and do all this, which is great. I would love to do that. I would have loved to have had eight grand to just drop on a brand new optimizer motor to put in this. But I'm on a budget, so um, it's a budget build. We're not building a tractor pulling vehicle anyways. Um, and who knows, those heads might crack after 10,000 miles anyways, but that's what we did. Uh, so today what we are going to do, uh, I'm going to finish uh, cleaning up the block. I mean, it got back from the machine shop, but there's still some surface gunk on here. If you look down in here, there's, there's some crud in there that they didn't get out. Uh, so I'm gonna finish cleaning this block up and uh, we're gonna paint it. Uh, we're gonna go with just a cast iron color. Um, I'll probably paint the valve covers and turbo and something another color, haven't quite figured it out yet. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and put those in the comments. Uh, so yeah, so let's get started. Do me a favor. Uh. If you're gonna use one of these, make sure you use a face shield. Um, these things can come off and hit your eye and
the way you want to do to check the clearances on your bearings, uh, one, the machine shop that this said that the crank was standard. Uh, so I ordered standard bearings. Uh, they sell this stuff called plastic gauge. You can get it if you want, or you can just shake the crank like this. And if you don't feel any play, that means you have the right bearings. I'm totally kidding. Don't do that. We're going to plastic gauge this. All right, when you are plastic gauging something, you need to cut off a section of the plastic gauge and place it straight across it. You don't want it at an angle like this. You want pretty much in line with the crankshaft. We'll go ahead and put the cap on and we're gonna to torque it down and then we'll repeat that process across all of them. You wanna help me? Okay. We are gonna work on this little thing, but it's mine. So daddy let me, he fixed it, but for me, and we go work on the truck and we go put it on. And we go work with my daddy. So that's why I like to work with my daddy. So it's really fun. So please like, subscribe to his video. <laughs> that's gold right there. If you don't like and subscribe after that, you're a horrible person. <laughs> I'm just kidding, thanks for watching. I'm really enjoying working on this project, but it's really cool seeing how excited my little girl is by getting to turn wrenches with me. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off and get started. Uh-huh, 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 okay. Okay, hold, hold that, hold the end of it. Yep, grab it. Grab that one. Grab the end. Okay, now put it right here. Put it right there. Good job. There you go. So we've got the plastic gauge on all of the bearings. We're gonna go ahead and turn this impact down to the lowest setting because we don't want to torque anything out of turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and bottom all these down and then go through the torque sequence. Pull them all back off and see what it looks like. Okay, so if we put our gauge on here, we are right at two thousandths of an inch on this first one. So that is right within spec, right where we want it to be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them, and then we're gonna move on to hopefully putting some pistons in. All right, I'm gonna move over here where there's a little more light. So um, these rings really probably aren't bad. This motor was rebuilt at some point in its life, uh, but I don't know the history of it. I have new rings, so that's what we're doing. I do know that these are Molly pistons. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to stick this ring expander in here and pop out the old rings. Once these rings are out, like I said, we're going to go ahead and um, clean them up. Okay, who needs a bench grinder when you've got a bench vise and a drill? So this is what we're going to do here, see if it works. First one to go on is the oil ring. You want to take this spring looking thing that's going to retain oil inside the oil ring and where the seam is on it, you're going to put it to the top or to the bottom or to the left or the right. Whichever you do, you're going to put the ring on opposite. So the opening of this right here, we're going to put on the top. 
the oil ring itself, we're gonna put the gap on the other side of the piston and every other ring is going to go opposite of the prior ring. We'll slide this on, make sure we are over that spring looking piece. Since the seam on the oil ring is at the bottom, this one's gonna go at the top. You don't wanna pry these open too far. These are hardened steel, they will snap on you. <clears throat> and there we go. All right, we're gonna start slamming these in the block. I'm gonna go ahead and dip the piston in some oil. Now I have already put assembly lube on the bearings. I'm gonna make sure that my studs don't hit the crankshaft on the way down. Grab a compression sleeve. Now we're gonna take the wooden end of a hammer. I'm gonna reach under here with my hand to make sure that I'm not hitting Number one is in. Go ahead and turn the block over. Put our bearing cap on and then repeat the process over and over. All right guys, uh, that's about it. I'm out of time. My battery is about dead on my camera. We've got all the pistons in. We've got all the bearings pre-lubed up with some assembly lube. Uh, the bottom end as far as all the rotating assembly is done. Anyways, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm hoping you guys are having fun watching uh, me stumble through this. Uh, anyways, go out and have fun. Thanks for watching.